What did that reimbursement go towards? I mean, it's, you know, it's very clear what it is. It's, it's uh, getting samples, getting samples, getting samples. Brain, kidney, thymus, liver, spleen, femur for specific specimens, the uh, compensation would be higher. Big money is being made from the sale of fetal body parts. Even the most ardent pro-choice advocates, like Planned Parenthood president Gloria Felt, are disturbed by what we found. It seems inappropriate, totally inappropriate. Where there is wrongdoing, it should be prosecuted and should be brought to justice. My department contributes so much to the bottom line of our organization. I want to put these Planned Parenthood officials under oath and get them to swear about the practices that they were conducting in the state of Texas. Either their horrific practices will be revealed or they may be found in violation of law for perjury. request a lot for field tissue because we had two levels of invoicing for them um, we had it worded as per consent um, <coughs> because the consent process was the administrative part that we had to do and then we had an overall administrative fee for basically working it into um, the clinics themselves and at the time um, per consent was $25 mm -hmm. And that also covered if a patient consented to be in the study and then for whatever reason we didn't get a sample or she changed her mind because I see um, I didn't do that budget. Um, it was existed when I got here. So <coughs> I, there's probably some situations that somebody would consent and then just not. Right. We didn't get a sample. She right. changed her mind, or something happened to the specimen. I I can't think right. of anything off the top of my head, but um, yeah, because you know, we technically can't ethically. I don't think they were um, based on what I'm reading here. I think it's paying for the specimen itself. Mm -hmm. uh, right. That I mean, language on, that we, on paper, yes. it's got to yeah. be massaged a little. <laughs> yes. So the consent process is what. <clears throat> is unique to the visit. Mm -hmm. It's consenting the patient. Right. So. Now, obviously, I mean, we don't want to end up paying for material that we can't use. Obviously. And yeah. now it might be if, you know, so if there's a certain, like, consent fee and then mm -hmm. something else that yeah. represents yeah. the Yeah, I think, I think definitely a, a, um, a la carte approach would be the best. How we, how we say that, how, yes, how we frame it, mm -hmm. yeah. I think is, is important too. Um, that you're not, we're not altering anything, mm -hmm. and it's clear that we're not altering anything. Mm -hmm. um, even if the procedure itself, there's a modification in how they do it, it's still mm -hmm. the same procedure, right. but we're uh -huh. doing it in a way that we An preserve the integrity yeah. of the specimen, mm -hmm. I think is, yeah, is something that we can, uh, definitely discuss that with Tron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like what will probably happen is, you know, we can kind of give you our, you know, our needs and sort of how, mm -hmm. you know, in our, according to our budgeting and our, mm -hmm. you know, practical use, kind of what, you know, how we look at everything. And mm -hmm. then if you guys can kind of translate that, you know, based on your experience, you know, translate yeah. it into something that looks good on paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I just don't want to turn into a situation that it's not financially sounds, beneficial yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, and we'll, we'll uh, I'll take you up on that. I'll take you up on that. Uh, we definitely want to do that because I, <clears throat> that's what staff and management need to see, mm -hmm. that we're not underwriting any project. And right. I go mm -hmm. to great efforts to demonstrate what the cost, actual cost is for uh -huh. us. Uh -huh to whomever asks, and mm -hmm. then this is what is budgeted. So they know, okay, yes, you're covering costs, there's margin mm -hmm. that's covering mm -hmm. overhead or whatever we need to, just to make sure that everything mm -hmm. is, is right. covered. Yeah. And so when we're coming in and making it uh, beneficial to you financially, mm -hmm. you can frame it so that mm -hmm. that's... Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Because that's how we're going to keep you happy, yes. right? Yes. To make sure that financially yes. you're growing your clinic mm -hmm. and um, however you need to say that, mm -hmm. frame it on the 
other end? Yes. Okay. If we alter our process mm -hmm. and we are able to obtain intact fetal cadavers, then we can make it part of the budget that any dissections are this and splitting the specimens into different shipments is mm. this. I mean, that's, it's all just a matter of line items. Mm -hmm. Everything. CNS, brain, kidney, thymus, liver, spleen, femur, bone marrow, hemopoietic stem cells from 14 to 22 weeks. Well, it would make me very what, happy uh, for us to finish up what we need to do, and I can put you in contact with yeah. them. <laughs> oh, and I was wrong. They want 120. 120? Uh-huh. This is huge. This is the budget you said was insulting, or no, they never got back to you about that? They never got back to me. The budget was not... Um, I mean, we never got to budget. I had a, pr I sent him a contract that had some budget numbers in it, and I said, mm -hmm. this is from my previous project. This will be similar. Do you have thoughts in terms of remuneration or compensation, what no. you guys typically do? Missy or they? Is, oh, Missy, oh, Missy, Melissa, Melissa Farrell. Farrell. Yeah, Missy is what she goes by. <laughs> Melissa Farrell um, okay. will work on all of Excellent. that with you. We had it worded as per consent. Brain, kidney, thymus, liver, spleen, femur. It's all just a matter of line items.